You know, that pawn shop is right here. It's really about time I pay them a visit, because I keep stocking up on miscellaneous items that could become my riches. This week on Pawn Stars, an incredibly staged encounter where we pretend this guy just sort of walked in, but actually this was like a three-week ordeal where we very slowly coordinated with them over the phone and signed contracts because this is a television show that is entirely fictional and people fall for it. It's really embarrassing. It's basically the most embarrassing thing that, he, that Americans do. Oh, probably not. Still. <laughs> God, I hate reality television. <laughs> I hate it. I really... I, uh, lived in a house for a while where people would just watch reality TV all the damn time. And when you know even a little bit about how fictional shows are crafted, like, it becomes so irritatingly blatant how fake they are. <laughs> like, they don't even pretend. I mean, they pretend, but they don't really pretend. Hey, hold up. Huh? Oh, they're gonna be like, you're opening up that locker? Nuh-uh. He gave me that key as a trap, didn't he? That locker key you have. We know who gave you that. You bumped into our little friend, right? Who? Oh yeah, I did. That was the guy who said his Yakuza friend was chasing him down for trying to leave. That item in the locker belongs to our family. So just hand over the key and get out of here. Sorry. But you're in no position to be making claims on my property. Your property? You must be dumber than you look. And when we're done, you're gonna look even dumber. That's actually not a bad line. <laughs> not, not a not a bad one. I gotta give you that one, Mr. Cross Arms. You're gonna be, your arms are gonna be very less crossed now, though. Ooh, okay. Or more crossed? I'm not really entirely sure. To be honest. How are you not involved in that? Here, come over here. Kill that guy. Thank you. Thank you for that. Now take a sleepy. Uh, I feel like I got hit by a truck. I don't know what your problem is, but this locker key was a gift. So you get out of my face. You don't know what you're unleashing, man. When you're carrying around... What? When you're carrying around what you find in there, you better watch your back. It's gonna be an adorable bunny. What the hell could be so important to them in here? A charismatic photo? Is this just a photo of their patriarch? If I try to use this, it's gonna make me look like an idiot. Huh. Doesn't seem like it was worth fighting over a bunch of Yakuza over, was it? What? Alright, well that one's over. Whoa! That's a spike. Oh, I have another key. Black jewel. Marble sphere. Meteor fragment. Now we're definitely well past the halfway point. Wow. How many are there overall? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 50 overall, and I have... Not a lot left to go. 6, 10, 13 to go out of 50? Damn. I have found a lot of keys. A lot of keys. Huh. That was... That, that was over quickly. Kind of thought it would be an evolving thing. He was being chased after because there was a photo of their leader? Okay. Charismatic is the word that- oops, I went the wrong way. Charismatic is the word they went for, huh? What's going off in this corner over here? By New York Hot Dog. A store that always stands out to me, but you can't actually access in this game for some reason. Oh, watch out. Huh? Ah, uh, how many times has it been? That man keeps mumbling about this sign. I guess I'll ask what's wrong. More graffiti again. What should I do? You keep mumbling to your sign. Is something the matter? Well, I'm at a loss here. I'm the owner of this cafe, but... 
Someone keeps spraying graffiti over my sign. No matter how many times I clean it up, I, I wish I could do something. This town has a lot of hoodlums. Maybe they enjoy watching you spend a lot of time cleaning up your sign. I know. Could you keep watch? You look like you're good at fighting. Nanny. What? I would think you'd be able to w w catch whoever's doing this. I'll compensate you, of course. How about it? Fine, I'll do it. I'll stand here all day long, apparently. I guess so. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> wow, I'm glad I asked. By the way, the name is Ogawa. My name's Kiryu. Okay, Kiryu-san. Could you keep watch here? I have to run to the- I have to run the cafe. Uh. Sure. Thank you very much, Kiryu-san. Aw, oh, yeah, let's beat up some teenagers. But if I stay out in the open, the culprit won't show up. I should leave for a bit and come back. Nope. Not quite that level of video game logic. I need to, like, really wander off for a while. Probably long enough to go turn in that 2,000 yen bill I found. Again. What is the quest over here for again? I think that's just Messi King again, right? Because it's Club Sega. Is that kid in here too? That's impressive. He just gets around like that. Please don't attack me. You're only worth 1,000 experience, which is like really embarrassing and really not worth my time, frankly. Mashima's worth like 50. Seriously, it's ridiculous. You guys need to get on his level. Or maybe you shouldn't. He's a Majima. He's a gang leader. Uh, he, it's pretty a bit of an escalation for your lifestyle. Holy crap! Everywhere I go, there's another three dudes in leather jackets that are gonna jump me. But the other guys are busy jumping me, so they can't. Boy. Oh. I think it's the uh. same dialogue. You're the best. You track three down. Will you give it to me? Uh. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you, here's a little token. And, yep. Whoa, I'm at over a million? <laughs> this is going to keep- this is going better than I thought it would. Only two more. Keep up the great work. Holy crap, I didn't- I didn't fully realize when my money went up that much. Holy- wow, okay. Like, I had, like, 600,000, I think, when I was going around with that one dude, showing him around town. And it's more than doubled in, like, Less than an hour? Weird. I need to find stuff to spend money on. I'm like slightly not used to spend, spending money anymore because in the last game you would spend money to uh, specifically uh, level up your character and buy real estate and now There's neither of those things are options. So it's like I'll buy... Like I don't really use weapons very much. Like I can buy food. Salted tongue. Eh. I'll trust you on it. There's probably CP in it for you if you get if you do everything on the menu at each place. I think it was in the last game. I'm not really actively seeking it out, but I figure, hey, I'll stop by and eat periodically whenever my health isn't full. And that'll fill my health up for relatively cheap. While also completionizing uh completionisting a bit of a store. Could you guys not? This is just a bad idea. Alright, here you go. Spin to win! Is this fight over? Nope. Which one's left? Oh, there's this random dude over here. Look at freaking Rio over here. They couldn't afford to- they couldn't afford graphics for your new game, Rio? Still looks like a Dreamcast game? I'm not sure what all those Sony fans- not Sony- I'm not sure what all those Sega fans were expecting. They're also Sony fans, kind of, I don't know. Not sure what they were thought the Shenmue 3 was gonna look like for that tiny ass budget. Seriously, yeah, people are like making a big deal about the Shenmue 3 budget. It the, that game got like no money. The game got like no money, and people and people are like it's gonna be amazing. I'm like you don't, you do not understand, dude. 
how expensive video games are. If you saw that Kickstarter for Shenmue 3, I'm like, oh yeah, that's a video game budget for a modern open world 3D game. That's completely reasonable and not insane. <laughs> and everyone's like, oh my god, Shenmue 3, it looks like poopy butts. What's what's wrong? It's like, it's because it's... Did you see the Kickstarter? Not to mention, but it, it, that whole thing's so confusing and like w vaguely sleazy, though, with the weird way that it's like... Let's go with the store over here. I was gonna go back to the spray paint location. That old situation so weird this gave you though, like where it's like, if it's being, is it being published by Sony? Because if it has a publisher, why does it have a Kickstarter? Because then like the Kickstarter, it's like you're asking fans to back a product. It's it starts to get into this like weird unethical like manipulative uh, form of pre-ordering. Like, if we- if people keep falling for that stuff, triple- triple-A publishers are gonna start, like, evolving to this new way of pre-ordering, where it's like, Do you want this fan project to happen? You better support this Kickstarter, even though we have all the money in the world to make it happen without the Kickstarter, because we found a way to get your money up front, which is what pre-orders already are, but that Kickstarter's gonna be a new way of doing that. So, careful, guys. Otherwise, they'll be like, you want Beyond Good and Evil 2? You better get this Kickstarter up to five million. <laughs> hey. Whoa, what do you want? Really, dude? Is it, do you have to ask? His name's Huff- it's, it's called a Huffy Tagger. Did you tag the sign? Nope, it wasn't me. Hey, wait. Come back here. Damn, he ran off towards Tai High Boulevard West. How do I always know these things? I've got GPS for hoodlums. Oh, hey. Hey there. 80 technique, Romero special, holy crap. I wonder which characters I have even can use that. Ha ah, hey, Boulevard West, there he is. Okay, in this case it was just the next street over, but sometimes I'm like, wow, yeah, they headed over to that place on the other side of town. He's hiding behind those dudes. That's... Guy who was tagging the cafe sign. There you are. Really, Kira, you're just gonna approach them up front and not make this misunderstanding happen? Huh? huh? Who the hell are you? I've got no business with you. I need to talk to that kid hiding behind you. Huh? Well, well. You think you can screw with the Yakuza, eh? You don't know who you're messing with. But don't worry, you'll learn soon enough. Uh, is the kid also fighting? Oh, he is. Okay. Well, guess what happens now, guys? Oh, Jesus. I didn't know that was gonna happen. Oh, my God. Some of them are so much more violent than the other ones are. Well, he's out. <laughs> you next? You get the punchies. Man, random enemies don't stand a chance in this game. I guess it makes the boss fights feel important. Why are you harassing the cafe, huh? Did you put that kid up to all this? No, that's not actually... Stop stalling and answer me. I was just teaching them a lesson because they wouldn't pay us protection money. Strictly business, you know how it is. Besides, the kid's the owner's son. Many. What? Huh? Hey, shut up! So what if I am? Usually a kid doesn't tag a cafe run by their own father. So you must have a reason, right? No, I don't. <sighs> ah, fine, I get it. That music change? I want to become a graphic designer, but my old man keeps bugging me about taking over the family business instead. So I want to teach him a lesson. And you decided to do that by hanging out with Yakuza who want to harass the cafe for protection money? <sighs> yeah? Well, sounds stupid when you say it like that. If you have all this time to waste on petty vandalism, why not spend it on a heart-to-heart -heart with your father? Yeah, right. Pops only has the cafe on his mind. That's why I'm trying to make a statement that'll get through to him. Have we tried saying a statement that'll get through to him? Like, to his ears? By making a statement? If you can take the initiative to do that, I think you have what it takes to let him know how serious you are. 
I'm sure your father isn't asking you to take over the family business lightly. So if you tell him how serious you are about graphic design, your father will understand. Don't you think? It's up to you, kid. You're right. I'll let Pops know how I really feel, and how serious I am. Good. I should go see how this ends. Ah, Kiri-san. My boy came clean about the graffiti. I never would have guessed it was my own son. I'm sure he had his reasons, though. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh, yes, he told me that, too. Perhaps it wasn't good that I was so stubborn. Well, the vandalism is wrong, but I do- I have to admit he's got a good sense of design and a knack for painting. Ha 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 ha. I'm glad your father recognized your passion. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. This is a token of my appreciation. Thank you, Kiryu-san. Whoa, 50,000 yen. I'm going to talk with my son here more often. Uh. Yeah. Unless you have a heart to heart sometimes, you'll never get through to each other. Hey. You're right. I'll try seeing things eye to eye with Pops. Communication is key. They figured that out this this incident. If they figured that out from this incident, that's a huge step. Good luck with your dream. That was Huh. There's a pacing difference to be noticed between this game and uh Yakuza Zero, which of course is like Literally the difference in the writing between their first game and like their eighth game if you count spin-offs and stuff like that Like it's so far along by the time Yakuza was made uh, Zero was made Like they kind of have more of like a pacing and a structure to the storylines that come up and like a whole ongoing evolving thing that would happen Whereas this one is always like It's always like there is a thing happening. Oh a misunderstanding revelation the end and it's like it's very mechanical in a way that's super consistent to the point, like, to a fault. Why is there... So what's going on with the quest here? Is it that guy? The magazine stand. Maybe I'll pick one up. Which one will you read? Dengeki PlayStation! Ah! Oh. 2005 PlayStation magazine, huh. A gaming magazine focused solely on PlayStation, which directed, published by MediaWorks. They're known for having in-depth walkthroughs. Their Dengeki 4 Coma is popular as well. What if I had a walkthrough for this game? <laughs> Just in there. Weekly Famitsu? Oh, Famitsu is the game review magazine, isn't it? I always see Famitsu listed when they talk about reviews for games. They rate things out of 40? Because I think four people review each game or something? What the hell is that? Ew. What is that? Gaming magazine covered covering information on various consoles. It's known for having an overwhelming amount of content, like rank, like Cross Review or Famitsu Neighborhood Association. The sh wow. Three Shonen magazines? Oh no, Young Magazine. Shonen Champion? Oh my god, their faces. What's wrong with them? What is wrong with them? Weekly manga magazine for boys, published by Akita Shoten. Home to... of Baki, Son of Ogre, Super Radical Gag Family, Nanba MG5, and Sanagi-san. Which were all serialized here. I actually used to subscribe to Shonen Jump. It was just kind of nice getting a, a comic magazine in the mail every month. Even if they were weird, out-of-date, like, localized anime, I mean manga. I unsubscribed actually because uh, what they did is they show they gave us the uh, the Naruto manga and it was from the very beginning and they did it month to month back to back all the way up until like the Rock Lee surgery storyline and then they just like eh cancelled and then they just started they just started showing Naruto Shippuden and I'm like what. You can't just skip all of the story in the mid- oh, and then I just stopped. I'm like, well, if you're just not gonna... Like, I'm not gonna read this anymore if you're just gonna literally skip ahead. 
that that ritual fell apart because at that point there wasn't much else to read that I liked. Because they all the most of the other things I'd liked at that point I think had been wrapped up already. And Bleach is stupid. Bleach is really stupid. <laughs> Bleach gets dumb a lot faster. <laughs> it's a magazine stand. Maybe I'll pick. No, not you. I was trying to talk to the dude. He looked he looked noteworthy. Maybe he's not. Is he reading a manga? Yeah, he is. Boo -boo. Yeah, all of the manga starts to ble bleed together, though. That that's in Shonen Jump because so much of it is like power levels. These guys need to beat up those guys, but are they good enough to beat up the bad guy that is the bad guy? Oh no! Maybe with power of friendship they will overcome the bad guy. With inspiration and new technique, you can you match my bankai? Oh my goodness! I can't defeat this guy, and I am having the wide eyes because I am le crouching on the ground and my tri lip is trembling at the wide eyes and tiny pupils because how will I ever defeat this thing? Oh no, I am failing all of my friends. This is the voice inside of your head. This voice says, you can do the Bankai. And then I bankai all over the place and then boom, bad guy's dead. Unstoppable power. Such power coming from this little runt? How is this possible? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> fucking, fucking, ah, uh, god damn it. This is why I enjoyed Death Note when I found out about it, because <laughs> it, it was such a nice departure. <laughs> oh, sorry, I just realized I had some suspicious money in my register. I didn't want my manager to say anything, so I exchanged it with my own money. But now I'm not sure what I should do with it. He's talking about a 2,000 yen bill. It must be so rare now that people think it's fake. What do I do? Exchange it. If you want, I'll exchange the 2,000 yen bill with you for some smaller bills. Oh, you will? I was... I was scared of having to turn the suspicious bill. I... don't want to get in trouble, if you wouldn't mind. Hey, there we go. Thanks, that's a weight off my shoulders. Well, alrighty then. That works out for me. So that explains... okay, because I saw that quick I saw the quest marker here earlier and then it disappeared, and I was like, wait, why'd it go away? And it's because it was a 2,000 yen quest, and for some reason you can only pick them up one at a time? So you have to run all the way back to him every single time to make the next one spawn? That's a... Ah, uh, well, it's gonna make me get some mileage on this character, I suppose. Was that stall here before? What is this? Do you sell tickets to Millennium Tower or something? What is that? I don't know. Man, once you go through like a couple of different, uh, once you've gone through the gauntlet of, of going too down the rabbit hole, too far down the rabbit hole of any, what's going on here? Oh, I accidentally clicked on this guy. What are you starting staring at, eh? You want your face rearranged? Well, yeah, this dialogue doesn't even change, honestly. Once you've gone too far down any of those manga or anime or whatever that is uh, about power levels. Oh Jesus. Hey, I did both of them. Hey, we finally got to see it. Once you go too far down that storyline once, you kind of have defeated that genre forever and don't really need to usually follow up on any more of it. Instead, what I find the smart thing to do is to just, uh, just, like, get through, like, the first season or so. Like one or two seasons uh, or whatever, or story arcs of a show, and then just stop reading it forever. Because it's gonna, if it's the type of thing that's going to do that kind of escalation, it's really just not worth it. Which seems, I see, and I seem to have been proven right by that, because what I did with uh, Bleach is I just stopped, I just stopped reading it the moment the Rukia storyline was over, which is like the second story arc. And I, and I came away generally pleased with Bleach, and everything I hear about what happens after that in Bleach sounds like the worst writing ever. <laughs> Boy. Hey. Oh, 2,000? Uh. Wow, yes, this is 2,000. Can I have it? No. Wait, yes. Uh. Here you go. Wow, token of appreciation. <laughs> L now for the last one, keep up the great work. There we go. I have to turn it in right away, otherwise I'll never know where the next one is, because it doesn't spawn in time. Well, I guess I'll do another- maybe I'll do another Mesa King now. Why not? 
Cause there's, there's another one over there, right? Let's try that location. Oh wait, there's, there's two exclamation points over there. Maybe that's the other 2,000 yen bill. Huh. The reason why I talk about just watching the or reading the beginning of a series is that the beginning part's the interesting part because when they set up their world and their ideas and the cool stuff, but then over time they often stop introducing new things that are actually interesting and it just becomes a matter of escalation, escalation, escalation. Because at some point there's just some guy, there's some poor manga artist who is just being, just they found their money train and they're just going to stick to it and they're, they're, their boss just keeps ordering more, and they're, I mean, what are, you, they're, what are they, crazy? Of course they're not going to turn that down. But this, the writing suffers when it becomes an infinite storyline. I thought the arcade would be a decent spot to scout out the fighter's successor, but I should have known it wouldn't be that easy. Oh, this storyline. No. Sir, I just yanned up on that machine. Mind moving? Huh? Oh, sorry. Oh. Eh? That voice, and that intimidating face. Is that you, Kazuma-kun? Mm. Huh? You're right, I'm Kazuma. Have we met somewhere? It's me, Hideki. We used to play pocket circuit together. No, we didn't, but okay. <laughs> Hideki. Yes, I remember him. I don't remember him. Oh, I remember now. No, I don't. The pocket circuit boy, Hideki-kun. It's been a while, have you been? Good. I've got a boring desk job these days, but I still swing down to Kamurcho when I can to play around. Heh, <laughs> I see. You sure grew up, Hideki-kun. Hey, don't be like that. You sound like one of my uncles. What's up with you, anyway? Why are you standing around looking like, like death in an arcade of old places? Actually... What? The fighter's getting married? Yeah, I was surprised too. This might be the fighter's only shot at happiness, so I want to do what I can to help him. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure this is his last chance, and I agree that the industry needs some new blood. But the pocket circuit fighter wants a successor, eh? Uh. Yeah, I'm on the hunt for someone as passionate about pocket circuit as he is, but I don't even know where to start. Would you be interested? It might make a good fit for you. Oh, no way. Besides, I have a job to think about. True. Normal people have families and careers. <laughs> Jesus. Even if they love Pocket Circuit, they can't become the fighter. I guess the fighter may have to give up on marriage. Wait, I may have a lead for you. I know this total loser over here. Th that's so. Huh. I'm not sure yet. I wonder if you'd even consider being the new Pocket Circuit fighter. Well, even if there's a slim chance, I'd like to ask him. I can't let Fighter get more downcast than he already is. Uh, okay. Do you remember a boy named Takuma-kun? Takuma. Ah, uh, yes, that same vacant stare that they all have. <laughs> Emotionless, dead doll faces. <laughs> yeah, I remember. No, I don't. He's the kid who always played with you. I guess. What's he up to these days? Is he still in town? Yeah, he's here. But I haven't seen him lately because it's been... awkward. The Takuma-kun might be a good candidate. But there's a rift between you two? What happened? Let's walk and talk. A lot has gone down since you left. Uh. Sure. So what happened to Takuma-kun? Well... Hey, Hideki-kun! Cool. Oh, hey! I didn't know you were in town again, Hideki-kun. Oh, yeah. I guess so. I guess Hideki-kun knows her, she, but she seems familiar. Is this a friend of yours? Nice to meet you. I'm... Wait a second. Huh? That intimidating face, that fierce gaze. Are you Kazuma-kun? 
That means you must be the only girl from the pocket circuit racers, I assume. That still has the same dead face, because children just don't get to have expressions. Ika-chan? Ah. Oh. Wow, it's been forever. You stopped coming to Pocket Circuit Stadium all of a sudden. We were worried about you. I see. Sorry about that. Life kind of happened. Like, right up in my face. Have you been, Mika-chan? I've been okay. But I'm glad to see you. <laughs> Remember how I used to tell the other racers I was your girlfriend? Those were good times. Heh. <laughs> Yeah, that was awkward. <laughs> and then my dad got the wrong ID and he tried to get you arrested. Yeah, that was even more awkward. Um. Oh! I'm working at the cafe right now. I'd love it if you would stop by sometime and we could catch up. Uh, sure, but I'm a little busy at the moment. I'll head over when I got some time. Oh, come on, just stop in for a second. You've only gotten more handsome with age, and I want to show you off. Yeah. Uh, no, really, I'm... Ah. Uh, hold on a second. Mm -hmm. Whoa, what's wrong, Hideki-kun? But Mika-chan, haven't I aged like fine wine too? I'm sure your co co-workers would like a look at these goods. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's jealous now. Uh, I want to introduce Kazuma-kun to them. Look at the intensity of his brow. And he was such a fast racer. Ah! Now it's coming back to me. Hideki-kun was in love with Mika-chan. Is he still? I can't, believe he's I can't believe he's carried that torch for 17 years. I'm faster than him in Pocket Circuit. I spent my whole first paycheck on the best parts and mods. Huh? What? Your whole paycheck? <laughs> She's like backing up like, this is uncomfortable. Hideki is making a fool, making himself sound like a fool, and Mika-chan looks appalled. Kazuma-kun, I challenge you to a race. Are you serious? What about finding the fighter's successor? I thought we were going to see Takuma-kun. If you can beat me, I'll tell you all about Takuma-kun. What? I'm going to show you how much I've improved over the years. So yeah, I'll see you at the Pocket Circuit Stadium. Let's go, Mika-chan. Pardon? I have to go too? This escalated in the weirdest way. Yeah. What's all this talk about the fight of successor anyway? <sighs> he may look more grown up, but he's still a kid inside. I guess I'll have to defeat him to find Takuma-kun. <laughs> this is absurd. Was there this many weird drama storylines in the Pocket Racer storyline in Yakuza 0 too? Because that's... That's funny if that is the case. Although I wish I didn't have to play Pocket Circuit in order to get through it, because... I feel like I'm not even playing when I play Pocket Circuit. That's the that's the bummer with some of the mini-games, like, uh... The, the mini-games that are more immediately engaging, like the karaoke, that are just amusing to play through, are the least story-intensive. And the ones that are more story intensive are like, yeah, rock, paper, scissors. Yay. 